The reason why we are doing this is Tourism Board in the Osho Tourism Master Plan, a document which anyone who is interested in developing tourism seriously should lay their hands on and define what we should be doing three years ago to engage young people who are the biggest potentials of Osho and using their energies and initiative and creativity, which is always at the highest when we are young, believe that we could take Osho's natural talent and a gift of culture and history to the rest of the whole world, back to the world in a way in which it brings us, the whole world, back to us, paying money to see us, which is the symbol, central symbol of the Osho tourism law, which you find over there, which is also the central symbol of the Osho school tourism clubs, will be launching as a follow-up to this so that the benefits of tourism can reach individual homes through the school children. The thought and dream of this kind of program might not have seen the light of the day without the support of an organization like the Flower Mills of Nigeria who are manufacturers of golden penny flour, spaghetti, indomie, and a host of other food items. My sincere prayer is that God will continue to grant the management of flowers of Nigeria the needed wisdom to be more proactive in the running of affairs of the company. I also want to challenge the management to be more inward looking for foods that will promote and appeal to our local tastes. Let me at this juncture give kudos to our students who have been able to scale all the hurdles right from the very stage of this competition. I want to describe them as primos in the Paris, that is, the best among equals. I'd like to encourage you to keep the flag flying. So on behalf of Flowers of Nigeria PLC, we're a very socially responsible organization. We believe in education, we believe in health and welfare. And we believe in children especially because definitely children are the future of tomorrow. And um, one thing that children have to know is that knowledge is power. You are not a powerful person if you don't have knowledge. So I would like children to enjoy this time of school. When I was in school, I didn't like it very much. I couldn't wait to leave school. But I thank God that I went through um, school and I had a very good education and I'm here today because of the education that I had. This school will be free to pick any of the questions. The second part is the civic education and current affairs. The third part is uh, geography, biology and computer science. I will go in Womesi as we went to Pagano, I don't know. It did not make me move on the river, move on the river, the river, the river, the river, the river. So, Kimi, Moji, Nova, Ingo, Kimba. Nova? Nova, Nova, Nova. Yes, Thomas goes to the next school, which is North. You know.
We thank God for it. Honestly, by the time we were mooting the idea of this program, we never knew that it is going to be as successful as it is today. But we thank God. Uh, what we are discovering now is that our young ones, they are already embracing tourism. Because tourism has become a globalized thing. And as a matter of fact, this state of Osu is the luckiest state in terms of tourism potentials. We have natural potentials and natural gifts that can even make us to be financially independent if they are well tapped and well managed. And I know with the type of governor that we have now, if the governors we have been having in the past have done even up to 20% of what this man is doing now, tourism will have moved beyond the level it is now. Citizenship education is about training or training to be A, criminal, B, a politician, C, a dependent, D, a responsible citizen, E, a free thinker. A responsible citizen. Responsible citizen, correct, three points. Globalization as a, as, a, as, a, as a concept, are we better for it? Or are we most of it as a country? These students here are well prepared. You can see they have changed over. According to the research, globalization can be described as the interconnectivity of all economic sectors, which is in the charge of what you product and other aspects of life. We are the first world countries, that is the developed countries. We are the second world countries, those are the developing countries. And we are the third world countries. Those are the other developed countries. The developed countries are also going through the two former stages, that is the developing and the other developed, which shows that they have experience. And when they share this experience with the developing and other developed, then to go a long way to catalyze the rate of growth of the other nations, thereby encouraging and materialism. Now, the question is, how do we point every small world? The means by which these big nations have the small ones is what we term globalization. But we can't do that. We are representing for social and nation history. And I started this afternoon to strongly propose the motion that states globalization contributes more benefit to our nation than growth. As I already explained the term globalization earlier on, I will also proceed to explaining the two other keywords that benefit and growth. Benefits and the advantages derived from something. One goal and its advantages derived from it. In order to prove to you that globalization contributes more benefit to our nation than good, I would like to start with the following point. One, globalization encourages comparative advantage. Two, globalization leads to the reduction of the lightning of wars and other countries. Three, globalization promotes bilateral relationships. Four, globalization also promotes international relationships. Marketing. Five, globalization leads to help primary between companies. Six, globalization raises communication and transportation problems. I would like to seek your indulgence to carry out a certain operation on a stated point. There is no country in this world that is an island. There is no such country that can test its citizens in using its own resources. The law of comparative advantage, as stated by Jay Patrick Kali, also encourages specialization. That is, the concentration of resources on the production of goods in which a nation is better than Nigeria, Kuwait, and Saudi Arabia are known for oil production. Ghana is known for gold. South Africa, Ukraine, Taiwan, rice production. So, also, there are other countries. And if the school is set of us,
of Nigeria PLC for organizing this kind of program for the students of the city of Russia. And I want to thank especially the attendees because what we are seeing here today are the results of hard work of our teachers. These students, they are the product of what their teachers transformed today. So Nigeria, God bless you.